Blue Origins Capsule 2.0 takes first flight, scientists at MIT make glow-in-the-dark plants, and Google is opening an AI center in China. It's Wednesday, December 13th, and this is Crunch Report. Every time Bezos or Musk launch a rocket, I imagine that the song, I'm a rocket man, playing in the Today, Jeff Bezos' space company, Blue Origin, recorded a new milestone, an inaugural flight for Crew Capsule 2.0, the latest version of the vehicle it's creating for its first passenger flights. The Crew Capsule 2.0 craft flew atop a new Shepard reusable booster, traveling up to an altitude of 322,000 feet. Crew Capsule 2.0 wasn't carrying anyone on board for this test ride, but it did have a dummy on board to provide data about what kind of forces might be exerted on a real passenger during flight. Blue Origin hopes to fly people on board its aircraft by early 2019, so expect next year to be a very active one for the company in terms of testing and preparations. What will them scientists think of next? How about leafy greens that light up your night? A team of MIT researchers have engineered plants that glow in the dark using luciferase, the enzyme that lights up fireflies. Scientists have only been able to make arugula, kale, spinach, and watercress glow, but their plans for the future are much grander, including trees that could stand in for outdoor electric light. The team cites a study that streetlights account for 20% of all electricity usage. So they're trying to address the need for energy, all by, at the moment, the plants can only stay lit for three and a half hours and give off one one thousandth of that of reading light. But it's a start and our future is looking bright. Google has officially announced that it is opening an AI center in Beijing, China. The confirmation comes after months of speculation fueled by a major push to hire AI talent inside the country. The China lab has already hired some top talent and there are currently more than 20 jobs open according to a vacancy listing. In a blog post, Fei-Fei Li, chief scientist at Google Cloud, she said, Besides publishing its own work, the Google AI China Center will also support the AI research community by funding and sponsoring AI conferences and workshops and working closely with the vibrant Chinese AI research community. Google will have some pretty tough competition in the country for AI talent with companies like Alibaba, Tencent, and Baidu chasing the AI dream as well. That's the report for today. Hit that like or love button, share this video, and keep raging. Crunch boys every day at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. sitting on techcrunch.com. That's why I'm and I'm right. We'll see you.